Hey, how's it going? This is DJ Steve Nice. You're watching WinkSound.com. Today I'm going to show you how to import audio into Ableton Live in order to utilize the kicks and snares of the loop to make an actual beat that tailors to the type of music that you're making. Remember I showed you how you click on the top of it to see it down here, okay? What it does when you bring the audio, it automatically warps it to the time up here. So what you gotta do is match it up yourself. All right, because listen to it now. And we're just gonna. Now you see how that sounds off. There's no way you would ever wanna use that, okay? All right, now we made our loop bigger. So we're, we're working with a little bit more here. I highlighted it, all right? I press uh, right clicked and I just press duplicate, which you could also do with control D. Go down to where our audio file is, click on it. And you could look at it now. See, you could tell that it's not on, all right? And if you really zoom in, you could see it moving. See when I move this, right? If you look up on the purple tab, you could see that that moves too when I'm moving the time stretch. Okay, you look up here, you could see it moving in real time. So you wanna make the, the first part of it match up. By putting that on the line, that's gonna match it up with the, with the first beat, which is right up here. And all these lines symbolize where it starts compared to where the beat is. So to move it, you gotta double click on a number. And, and when you zoom in, sometimes there's more lines, sometimes there's not. But you gotta put it at the beginning of every beat. So they're on, and you see up here, it's lined up. You know, I might even wanna move that in one more, but I'm gonna try to line them all up with the closest grid line to that particular you know, beat that we're looking at, okay? What you do is you highlight it again, you know, you wanna pull it and you don't always wanna go to the directly next beat and do it. You wanna find a line that's close to a beat somewhere, close to the beat before, you know, and see how it sounds. Cause you don't wanna warp it too much cause it'll slow it down in some spots and speed it up. So it'll be like, da, 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 da. it'll sound all weird and stuff. You want it to sound on. All right, we got that on a little bit. Now we're gonna go back and listen to it. That's pretty much it. This is how you do time warping and basically match up acapella to a beat in Ableton. Well, I hope these videos really helped you in your future endeavors in making electronic music. And whatever it is that you're making, just make sure it's tailored to your own personality. Thanks for watching. Um, some of my affiliates are Groove Therapy, Rustic Productions, Warehouse Massive, I'm from Brooklyn, New York, Binghamton, Upstate. If you want to contact me, my email is stevenice at winksound.com.